you know, I, I actually had an offer in on a restaurant elsewhere in the state, and I ended up not going forward with that. Uh, it would have saved about 35 jobs. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by FreeStateGame.com. Bum, 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 bum. You can play it almost any way you want. I'm standing here with uh, Keith Murphy, who's the owner of owner of Murphy's Tap Room and Murphy's Diner in Manchester. Uh, and we had an interesting conversation a minute ago that I wanted to share with the public a little bit, and that is, I guess you're one of the business owners who actually is not expanding your business yet because of Obamacare. That's correct. Is that right? Explain that to me. Well, I, I've got a seasonal business, and in the uh, summer. We have around 85 employees, and in the winter we go down to about 40. And so right now, average, because that's how it works out, is they take an average, we average out around 45 to 49 employees. The cap is 50. Uh, anything over 50 after 2016, they've got to provide uh, health insurance for their employees. Did the math, it would take about half my profits to do that. Um, to go from 49 to 51? Well, or? Yeah, exactly. Take half my profits to, to buy the health insurance. Um, so we are, have a serious incentive to stay under 50. Um, you know, I, I actually had an offer in on a restaurant elsewhere in the state, and I ended up not going forward with that. Uh, it would have saved about 35 jobs. But the reason why was that that 35 jobs would definitely put me over the limit. And, um, you know, so 35 people I ended up going out of work because of the business going out that you would have been able to just buy? Correct. Normally? Correct. Okay. It's one of those things where it's like you, you can't always see the damage that something like Obamacare does because it's invisible. It's something that doesn't happen. Yeah. No. There's a, you know, the, the intention as always is good. We want people to have health insurance. We want them to have access Are to quality sure health care. Are you sure the intention is good? Well, I, I like to, you know, give them benefit of the doubt and say the intention is probably good. I don't think their intention is to crash the entire country. Well, and certainly but, the uh, people I've talked to who are in favor of it, probably they mean it, you yeah. know, but I don't think, I'm not sure that the the, uh, the thief in chief meant well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, you like to think most people get involved in this process because they want to make things better, and the problem is that better is always subjective, and their better isn't our better. <laughs> So uh, their, their better is everyone has health insurance, and uh, That's good at the time. downside of that that they don't even think about, you know, down the down the board, four, four moves down the board, and that is that they've been discouraged economic growth, discouraged companies from growing and adding employees. Um, and I, you know, I can't be the only one in this position. I think there's probably hundreds and even thousands of companies uh, across the nation that are, are like mine and right against that cap, and they hire one or two more people, and suddenly, um, you know, there goes half their profits for the year. So. All right. Thanks, Keith. We said about two minutes, and that's your two. Thank you. right, that's my two. That's all I get. Thanks, <laughs> that's Dave. what I promised I'd keep it to. Thanks, Keith. He's out running uh, for state rep, and he's at the polls, and that's why we kept the interview a little bit short. Uh, I think as probably almost all my interviews here today will be short. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Keith, Keith's been in uh, New Hampshire about the same length of time that I have. I mean, it's, it, it's one of those things where um, uh, you, know, you hear about it in the papers all the time. On a national scale, there's always businesses that are stopping supposedly because of Obamacare. But for me, it was interesting to just randomly run into one. I didn't know that it affected him so much. You've heard about the game Ridley and Friends are building. Free State aims to be a simple but deep MMO war game. A time sink with a cute variety and severe customization. But as you can see, I'm not even tech savvy enough to make a good screen cap. So, I need your help implementing this project. Visit freestategame.com to make contact and play the pre-alpha demo. FreeStateGame.com, bum, 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 you can play it almost any way you want.